Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve Chapman of Fish and Florida Radio, and today we're gonna go through our top 10 lures of 2019. So how did we pick our top 10? Well, it's based on first stuff that we did as uh, closer looks this year. And then it comes down to how many fish I caught. One of the things I'm really good about doing is when I go fishing, I try to keep track of where I've caught fish, how many fish I caught, and just what the weather was like, and also what lure I was using. So when you see this top 10, it all has to do with fish being caught down here in Florida. And I've got some friends that are gonna help me introduce each lure, or some of the lures. So their description or their link to their YouTube channel will all be in the description below, as well as where you can find these 10 lures that I'm about to show you. So without further ado, number 10 is the Weston Hypo Twist. Why? There's a couple reasons why. First, it's a great just bait to use just to find where fish are to start off with. But what I like most about it is that it has a hard body and a plastic tail. And why do I like the plastic tail? Well, there's whopper ploppers and there's other things. But this has a more subtle presentation and subtle noise. And it works in 360 degrees. What does that mean? Well, a lot of times when I go fishing, it isn't about making too much noise that does help at times but this is a perfect fit between just in the gap of what I need and I've caught a ton of fish on the smaller size it comes in two sizes several different colors but it's a great bait search bait just to find fish especially if you're if you love topwater baits Hey everybody, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, it's Top Water Johnny here on the YouTube channel, Top Water Johnny Bass Fishing. And my YouTube channel is all dedicated to top water fishing and the review of really cool top water lures. So if you're somebody out there who really loves top water blow ups, who really enjoys watching people do top water from the bank and boat, and wants to see really cool top water lures from around the world, then please check out my channel, Top Water Johnny Bass Fishing. Now, keep, in keeping with the theme of top water, here is Fishing Florida Radio's number nine lure of 2019. Coming in at number nine is from Hyperlastics, and it's the Dart Spin. The Dart Spin comes in many different colors, four different sizes, a ton of different colors, and it's one of these baits that's really quite impressive. It isn't just that it has the soft tough. See how like that? And it bends back. It isn't just that. And this is the regular model. You can get the pro model, which is hand painted, and you can get the regular model that comes like this. And the, and, and the reason why this is this hyperlastic start spin is on the top 10 is because there's so many ways to rig this bait. You can put it normal with a weighted hook like that. You can put a jig on it. You can use it as a trailer on your chatter baits or spinner bait or all sorts of stuff but this bait has an immense amount of ways to fish from top water to walk the dog to subsurface whatever way you want to fish this bait can be fished and it has holes already in it so that you can you can put your hooks exactly in the spots that you need to number nine from Patrick Sabeel, by the way, and a band of anglers, is the dart spin. And this one really could have been in the, in the top five, but I based most of this stuff on how many fish I've caught. I've caught a ton of fish on this, not to mention, this is also great in salt water. And right now this is more fresh water, but I've killed it this year with that. So number nine is the dart spin. At number eight is the Castaic Super Jerky J. And why do I like this? Well, I like how it swims in the water. It swims perfectly because of how it's designed and created. It has realistic features, even though it has some hair on it there. 
has realistic features, and as a trailer, it is a great bait to use. Adding this on your favorite, um, your favorite chatterbait or whatever you're using as a trailer will really help entice and get more strikes. It's a beautiful bait, beautiful bait. This jointed, the jointed uh, body of it makes it swim really well. So at number eight is the Castaic Super Jerky J. So coming in at number seven is the Spool Tech Fatty 4 inch. Why? Well, I've caught a ton of fish on this. A ton of fish, salt water and fresh water. And I like the, the plastic tail, which can be exchanged for different tails coming soon. But when the bait swims at you, it swims and it has a side to side, little side to side for the tr retrieval. But that isn't the greatest thing about it. You can see right here are some little things. When you catch the, when you catch a fish, the fish will go one way and you have this super leader to fight the fish from musky to bigger snook and all that stuff. They're fighting a wired leader. And then all you have to do to get it back in is you just have to turn this until you get it close without it sticking in the finger. Put it in its spot. Tighten it up some more. And cast it again. It's a great bait. Because this is a little bit harder, it's a hard plastic, and there's soft plastic on the end, it casts a country mile. I mean forever. So, coming in at number seven is the Spool Tech Fatty 4 Inch. Hey, Mike Naricon from Tallahassee coming at you with the number six spot, the Booyah Melee on the Fishing Florida Radio Top 10 Lure Countdown. Take it away, Steve. Coming in at number six is a bait that uh, I really appreciated this year. A bait that I didn't know how to use when I first started the year, but learned how to use a chatterbait real well. Now, do I think it's the best chatterbait on the market? No. But... I think it's a close second. So at number six, the Booyah Mealy. Now, don't mind that trailer because that's coming up fairly soon. Anyway, the Booyah Mealy is a fantastic chatterbait. Now here's the things I like about it. I like the, the different type of head. I like the vibration it kicks off. I like the skirt. I like that they put a good trailer hook so that you can your trailer stays on there for a good distance good time and it really does make a great vibration and when you team it up with the best the best uh trailer you're sure to catch more fish and what why i like this why this came in the top 10 this bait is like six bucks six or seven dollars for six or seven dollars you can't beat this this chatterbait so number six is the Booyah Melee. Mealy, Melee, whatever it is. That's what it is. Oh, that's deadly right there. Oh, not far enough. Oh, got one. Yep, second cast. Stay down, fish. Oh my God. Oh, no way. That's a 10-pounder, boy. <laughs> That's how you do it. With the call. That's a healthy fish. Yeah. So Hey guys, I'm Sylvia Tomlinson and I'm here to introduce the number five bait for Fishing Florida Radio's top 10 of 2019. Come check me out on Facebook. The 2019, top 10 of 2019 for Fishing Florida Radio, number five is the Culprit Flutter Crawl. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you for doing that intro. I appreciate it. Make sure you follow Sylvia. She loves fishing. I mean, her and her dad are like 
super fisherman. But at number four is one of the baits I am so happy to have in my arsenal. And I don't think there's enough people that have them in. It is the Flutter Crawl from Culprit Riptide. This is an amazing bait. I can't even tell you. First cast, I caught a fish with this. Second cast, I caught a fish with this. And the fifth cast, I caught a fish with this. I use this bait when I think the fish are becoming finicky. When it gets a little bit cooler here in Florida, what do I do? I downsize my baits, but I put on something that's gonna have extra action. And that's what this has. It's, it's got these front claws, front appendages, I don't know what you wanna call them, but when it hits the seafloor, these actually will flip down in front of you. It has action everywhere. It never stops moving and it pisses the bass off. They attack it and crush it. They swallow this bait. This flutter crawl is one of the best baits I've ever used and I couldn't be happier that they came out with it this year. Hi, I'm Mark Tomlinson. I'm here to introduce the number four bait for Fish and Florida Radio's top 10 baits of 2019. Come check me out on Facebook, Mark Tomlinson, or Instagram, at Mark Tomlinson. Without further ado, the number four bait, which I thought should have came in at number one, but Steve's gonna tell you why it came in number four, is the Live Target Frog. That's my buddy right there, Mark. Thank you, Mark Tomlinson. Thank you, Sylvia. Again, check them out on their social media stuff. Mark is a giant fan of the show, and I appreciate everything that he does for the show by spreading the word and doing everything. He is officially not part, not only part of the family, he is, he has entrenched himself into the show, and I appreciate that. So, Mark, thank you very much. That means more to me than you can ever imagine. So, at number four is the live target ICT frog yeah i know with that hair there i know that frog is something else rigged properly with the right hooks it comes in several different sizes i think that's a little bit different size a little bit different color maybe this one's the different size this creates an unbelievable amount of action on the water those those tails or legs just flop 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 make a great flutter noise but because the bait is from live target of course it looks almost like a life light frog you can't beat that this is a great bait and this is new this year for live target they have a outer core that's just see-through. And then they have the ICT, which is an injected core technology that is inside that makes the bait look real. And then what they do is they put that outer core around it and that creates this amazing bait. It has a great silhouette in the, in the water that looks identical to a live, a live frog. Can you hear the turkeys? Anyway, listen to that. So for number four our live, is the live target frog, the ICT frog, the injected core technology frog from live target. Hey friends, Big JC here from Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, so the Fish in Florida radio boys are doing this top 10 lure review of 2019. Now, they spent so much time yapping that I'm not sure how they spent enough hours on the water to video 10 lures in 2019, but Steve says they did, so Fish in Florida Radio lure number three for 2019 is the H2O Express Ultimate Swim Bait. At number three, and again, let me just say, all these people that have helped me out and sent their, their intros, please go check them out. You'll find their descriptions in the link below, and there'll also be descriptions on all the products I talk about here, so you can get them if you want them. But at number three is a bait that when I first found it, I was a little shocked, and I'm surprised I'm still talking about it, but it is from uh, H2O Express. It's the ultimate jointed sunfish. I have caught 
with this bait roughly 250 bass in the last six months with this bait from one pound to nine and a half pounds uh, there are some flaws in it this is an original and as you can see the hooks I changed the hooks on the front and not in the back yet the hooks need to be changed but this swim bait swims wonderful now here's ouch now here's the gipper to this there's two of these baits you can go to Academy and get you can get the one that has the plastic tail or you can get the one and this is the bigger size by the way and I apologize the one with the plastic tail don't get the plastic tail one this doesn't swim the same way this bait swims very slowly and with a slow retrieve just a a winding in it has a great swimming action in, in the water and it will attract strikes from everybody now this is I tried it I like to downsize this is the three and a half uh, the three and a half and there's also one size smaller so generally I use the one that's smaller and it just smashes fish it looks good it swims good and it has fantastic action and as you've seen in all of these things that I've done it's about the action that catches your fish so number three from H2O Express is the ultimate jointed sunfish. Bubba, that's a pig. Bubba, that's a huge fish. Bring it in. Don't let it get in the weeds. Help me. Help me. You got it, you got it. Help. Help. I, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Ready? Hang on. Bubba. Bubba! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! That has to be seven pounds. <gasps> Oh my gosh, Bubba, that's a giant fish. You're not holding that. Bubba, look at that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get that on video. Oh my gosh. Look, it's barely hooked. Where's the camera? I have it on me, look. How, how many pounds is that? Probably five, four and a half, five. That's a huge fish. I'm gonna pet him. At number two, another bait that I didn't know much about, but now that I know about it, I own a lot of them. From Smash Tech is the Blade Aid. This baby has helped me catch more fish than almost any lure I have. As you saw, it was on that Booyah Mealy. I put it on every chatterbait I own. Adding this to a chatterbait only helps you catch more fish. It's designed to swim properly. It has a bigger head so that the hook can go through without losing it. I put a little dollop of super glue when I put it on my chatterbaits so that the chatterbaits stay there forever. But this bait does everything right. It's beautiful in the water. It swims properly. It's custom hand poured from Smash Tech. Comes in several different colors. Only one size, you get six per pack. I own a ton of them. Tackle Warehouse, thank you very much for showing me these. This has impressed and, and helped me improve my fishing more than almost anything that I use. I didn't use a chatterbait at the beginning of the year. I use a chatterbait almost, well, it's on one of the two or three rods I bring every time I go fishing now. I love chatterbait fishing. I love this bait because of what, how much it helps a chatterbait. So at number two from Smash Tech is the Blade Aid. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Jason here from Jason Beck Fishing. Coming to you with Fishing Florida Radio's Top 10 Baits of 2019. And coming in at number one, the Mike Buka baby bullshad let's do this thank you jason for that great intro yes the number one lure 
that I reviewed and find the best bass bait for 2019 is this little doohickey. The Mike Buka Baby Bass Shad. This jointed swim bait has caught more fish for me this year than anything. It's not just the the bristles or the tristles of the tail or how unique it swims in the water, how perfect it is, or how when it stops it flutters downward like this like a dying bait fish. This is designed by the Catchco Company with Mike Buka and the original one is a lot bigger and it catches some of the biggest bass in the country. And for them to recreate this great paint and put it out on the market as a smaller bait has made my life absolutely fantastic. I didn't think I could catch more fish on than the, the ultimate jointed sunfish or the blade aid or a, a jackhammer. But this bait has stunned me by how amazing it is. It's perfect in every way. The way it swims, the way it falls, the way it acts in the water, the colors, everything about it is perfect in my opinion. And that is why the number one bait for Fishing Florida is top 10 baits of 2019 is the Mike Buka Baby Bass Shad from Catchco. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Catchco. This is one of those baits that any anyone can fish. Good polymer knot onto it, tie it on there, and just let that person that's never never remotely went fishing in their life, and they just have to reel it in, a slow reel, maybe a couple twitches of the rod. But it's designed as almost the perfect stupid bait, and I mean that with all with all the respect possible. It's made from advanced anglers to newbies. Great hooks, great big hooks. Designed so that you can catch fish after fish after fish. It is, it is awesome. If you don't have one, you should get one. They're really good. Anyway. Those are our top 10 baits of the year. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure again that you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and send us a comment. Tell us what you think. This is just an opinion. It doesn't mean anything good or bad, but these are baits that we've that I have that I have went and, and done a closer look on, on and done underwater footage and then also went and fished. And these are the baits that I have caught the most fish of this with this year. This is my top one. This is my best bass bait. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. We will see you soon. Thank you.